Let's take a look at finding dominant strategies and maximum strategies given the table form like the one shown on the screen. What we want to do is we want to focus on one player at a time to make that easier to calculate each thing we're going to do. So we're going to start by looking at dominant strategies. So to figure out the dominant strategy, what we want to do is put yourself in the shoes of player A. All right, so let's assume you have a choice of top or bottom. We're going to look at what player A would do given player B's actions, but we're going to look at it one at a time. So the best way I always say to do is cover your hand over this right column. Let's assume that player B is only going to do left. All right, so cover, cover the right side. Focus only on the left column. If you're player A, you have a choice of five or four dollars, you'd prefer the five. All right, so then we're gonna switch it. Let's say that player B is going to play right. Mentally cover this left column, focus on the right outcomes. If I'm player A, I have a choice of three or two, I prefer three. So player A has a dominant strategy of always playing top. It doesn't matter what player B does, player A is always going to play on the top. Now let's switch that and focus on player B. Again, we're going to isolate rows and then figure out what player B should do, go left or go right. So let's focus on the top row first, mentally X out the bottom row. Your player B, you have a choice of going left or right, eight or seven, I prefer the eight. If I'm looking at the at bottom, trying to figure out what player B should do on the bottom, if player A is going to play bottom, right? mentally cross out the top, focus on the bottom. Player B has a choice of two or one, they'd prefer two. They'd prefer to go left. Notice both times we said that player two is going to go left. Player, or sorry, player B is going to go left. So player B has a dominant strategy of going left. Player A has a dominant strategy of going to the top. The equilibrium for this game, and the Nash equilibrium, is going to be player A going top, player B going left. The payouts of this equilibrium are player A is going to receive five. So when we're looking at a maxi-min strategy, our goal here is to try to identify the best possible outcome of the worst possible outcomes. So what we want to do first is figure out what are the minimum strategies, or the minimum, actually the minimum payoffs, and then pick the strategy that maximizes our minimum payoffs. So we're doing minimum payoffs first, picking the strategy that maximizes those payoffs second. The idea here is that you're, you're kind of a pessimist. You don't want to have a terrible thing happen to you. So what you're going to do is look at, well, what's the worst possible outcomes? I'm going to pick the best of the worst possible outcomes. All right, so this focuses on the minimum payouts. And again, we're focused on strategies. So don't do it like a traditional, um, a traditional dominant strategy type quest where you're assuming there's a right and then assuming there's a left. You're actually staying with the player looking at each of his strategies, his or her strategies, and figuring out the payoffs. So let's look at player A first. If player A decides to go top, they can get a five or a three. All right, so I told you the first thing you want to do is find the minimum payoffs. So if I'm going top, I can get five or three. The minimum payoff is three. If player A goes bottom, the worst outcome is either four or two. The worst outcome is two. Or I've identified my minimum payoffs. Now let's pick the maximum uh, result and the strategy that results in that. Three or two, and so top is going to be the strategy that maximizes my minimum payouts. All right, so we're talking about the strategy that maximizes the minimum payouts. We identify the minimum payouts of each strategy, pick the strategy that's the best. Think of it like a pessimist you're picking the best of the worst possible outcomes. If I'm player B, again, I'm focusing on left and right. So let's do left first. If player B picked the left strategy, he could get eight or two. Well, the worst possible outcome is two. 
If player B picks the right outcome, the worst possible outcome is 7 or 1. Worst possible outcome is 1. So for player B, it's going to be 1 or 2. I want to pick the strategy that maximizes it. So I'm going to go left. And my worst outcomes are 1 or 2. 2 is the, max, the strategy that results in a maximum payout of 2. Right, so it's focused on max min. So as a result, uh, we would say our max min strategy is that player A is going to pick the top. Player B is going to pick left.